join the club. So driving drunk versus driving with a full bladder seems like a pretty straightforward set of tests to me. Let's do this one in a regular driving test style course, you know, maneuvering, parallel parking, etc. Do it once with a full bladder, once at the legal limit. You know, we should be careful. We don't want to rupture your bladder. So let's say we get a medical professional in to supervise. Let's get to driving. The dangers of driving while drunk are well-established facts. But a recent study has suggested that an overfull bladder can make driving more hazardous than being intoxicated. Is it possible that being desperate to pee makes you drive as badly as being over the limit? Well, to find out, it's back to the asphalt heaven. Alameda. It is a perfect day for driving. Even if doing it dangerously. Especially. This time it's out with the stunt driving and in with something altogether more traditional. A standard driver instruction course with a few well-chosen distractions. Well, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Allow me to show you our course. It begins and it ends right here with a one mile long, very tight straightaway. This will test my powers of concentration and endurance, both with a full bladder and under the influence of alcohol. So the next part of the course is a very narrow, snaky little curve, followed by the roundabout. I will enter it over here and make three complete circuits of it before exiting towards the slalom. First he goes through it forward, then he has to go out of it in reverse and move on to that very straightforward yet most difficult part of the driving test, the parallel park. This is the penultimate maneuver before the final test, which is where Adam will have to respond to a random change of these traffic lights that'll tell him which lane he has to swerve into at speed. They'll judge Adam's driving on how he performs each maneuver, as well as on his speed. Adam can't exceed 20 miles an hour going down the straightaway. When he's doing the obstacle course, he can't exceed 25 miles an hour, and he can't hit any cones or any pedestrians. Sober and with an empty bladder, Adam peels off three practice laps to get to grips with the course. And by starting with the full bladder test, Adam can enjoy his hangover once the testing is well and truly over. What's with the urgency room tent? Well, this experiment about me getting a full bladder is not as simple as me just drinking a ton of water, having to pee, and then driving. The fact is, you can actually drink too much water and create a potentially dangerous situation. That's why this whole experiment is going to be monitored by a doctor, a urologist, in fact, Dr. Shu here. He is going to ultrasound my bladder to make sure my bladder is properly full and yet I don't die, which is, you know, good. And get this, I already have to pee a little bit, so we're like ahead of the game. Your bladder actually has 174 cc's in there. Average bladder capacity is about 350 to 400, so you're about halfway full right now. What you're saying then is I should probably drink like 180 cc's of water right now. More like 300. 300? It'll be fine. Okay. It can take up to an hour before a drink trickles into the bladder. Here we go. 300 milliliters down the hatch. But a drink this size, and Adam's bladder already half full, in just 20 minutes, he's feeling the pressure. How are you doing? Um, I definitely really have to go, but uh, I think I should wait just a little longer. Another 10 minutes, and Adam thinks he's full to the brim. Ooh. Yeah, they feel a lot of pressure. However, the ultrasound identifies room for even further expansion. Okay, I'm gonna drink a little more water. 100 mils, and five minutes later, Adam really is myth-busting. I really, really, really need to go. But before he goes... Ah, I'm ready for the full bladder test. Jamie wants to outline the scoring system in excruciatingly slow detail. The way we're going to score this test is Adam starts out with 100 points, and every time he does something wrong, we subtract some points. Now, each cone is worth five points. Oh, my God, I can't even tell you how badly I have to pee right now. Every time that he screws up a test, that's 20 points. <laughs> and every mile per hour over the speed limit he goes, that's five points. Let's do it! Pedestrians that he could hit, well, let's just say that's a lot of points. We'll worry about that when we get there. Minor control test in three. Oh, he's such a... Two. Man, I'm going to get even. At the other end of the runway, 
Adam couldn't be more ready to test his bladder-impaired concentration. Bladder control test in three, two... Man, I'm going to get even. One, go. The first challenge is the mile-long straightaway with a speed limit set at 20 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's taking so long. And it's clear that Adam's feeling the pressure. Ow! Oh, oh, man, I can feel that right turn. Oh! Next oh, up is three turns of the roundabout. Okay, here we go. Oh. He only did two. Oh. He's supposed to do three. With his bladder becoming fuller by the minute. Oh, oh man, this hurt. This is killing me. Oh, there's a cone. Adam's concentration is slipping. Oh, this is awful. They're all parking. I wish I was parking so I could pee, but I can't. Uh. Oh, oh, oh! While he grimaces through accident avoidance... Oh, yes! <laughs> okay. It's the long, slow mile home. Urination is only minutes away. Lied with Jamie's deliberately distracting portable toilets. Oh! That's the hardest of all. But at last, he's finished. How did I do? Can I make a pee? Well, uh, first you got to do a piece to camera, I think. Or... No. No? no. So yeah, camera. I'll see you in a minute, OK? Oh. <laughs> Adam is relieved. But a full bladder absolutely oh dented his concentration so behind the wheel. <laughs> As for his score, well, that comes later. We're making a point of not telling Adam how he did on the full bladder test so it doesn't skew how he does when he's intoxicated. All right, fun's over. <laughs> Remember, Adam's full bladder driving will be tested against the benchmark for driving impairment, alcohol. Legally, we can't actually have anybody driving while fully intoxicated. What we can do, however, is bring Adam right up to the limit, just under it, and have him drive then with the supervision of law enforcement here. And they're going to be using a breathalyzer on him. We'll know exactly where he's at and make sure that we don't actually break the law. With California law allowing a .08 alcohol reading. Almost there. Adam's ripe. .75, I think that is actually our butter zone. I have never driven anything as altered as I am now. I can't believe the legal limit is as honestly is as high as it purportedly is. And to be on the safe side, the police tag along. Okay, Adam, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Three, two, one, go. But in the first slow straightaway, the officer might be reconsidering. So it's going to be a dog leg left turn. Ooh, I hit a cone. Wow. Okay, here we're coming up to the first dog leg. Because like the bladder test, I hit a cone. It's clear that Adam's driving is impaired. Left turn and into three loop-de-loops. Did I hit another cone? There's two. But how does his almost illegally oh. Oh. boozed up brain... Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Compared to the tolerated distraction... Now it's accident avoidance. Here we go. Oh, oh. busting bladder. He made that one all right, but just barely. Now back home again. Well, once Adam's done, it's almost time to find out. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Adam. How did I do on that one? Not so good. <laughs> no, no, really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I, I kept on talking and losing focus. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I have to see what Jamie's numbers say for the final analysis, and I'm not necessarily in a position to make a judgment, but I have to tell you, I was far less capable of driving intoxicated than when I had a full bladder. I mean, I was in pain with a full bladder, but intoxicated, I just didn't have the ability to focus on several things at once. And with a possible 100 points per test, the results are... Driving with a full bladder gave you a score of 70 points. Oh, that's not bad. Driving while intoxicated gave you 25 points. Whoa! So the myth that driving with a full bladder is just as bad as driving while intoxicated is... Busted. Great. Let's get out of here.
I'm driving. Okay, good. I'm happy about that. Yep, the numbers don't lie. Driving drunk is far worse. But full bladder driving is a serious road risk. So here's the news. If you need to pee, pull over. I thought you said you were driving! I am. Have you had enough? Of course you have.